Two years, bro. Heck yeah. Time flies. I know. I know. I know. I can't wait to say the same for Penguin and all everyone else. But <laughs> it's yeah, that's no, great. So um, we have a little bit of story to get through today that is that we need to get through before Nuns joins us because he's not home yet. I don't know if he's going to be home in an hour or maybe 10 minutes. I don't know. But uh, there's a portion of the, of the story we need to get through. I just hopefully it all times out well and we don't we don't have to wait forever for Nuns. That's funny. Okay. Let's jump into it. <laughs> oh, that's what's going on. Oh, no. Batman left something for us here. Let's talk. Only because I started talking. That's hilarious. Yo, we got that pig. Ow. Sweet, 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 sweet. I can add on the chain. <laughs> That's funny, Penguin. <laughs> You're really far away to pull that off. That's funny. <sighs> nuns, you would not want nuns to help you with your work. Nuns is a handyman. The stuff you deal with, Shadow would surely frustrate the shit out of him, and he would be so flustered and not be able to do a single thing. <laughs> you might want to unchain him and get someone else. <laughs> Sorry, that was funny to me. Uh, so, we are wrapping up the year. Do you have a game of the year or should we organize this game to your list? Oh, dude, that's super cool. I don't even remember what I played this year. Um, hmm. That's a really good question, Melody. That's good questions. You need some? What's going on? What's going on? Um... I would probably have to refresh my memory on what I played this year. Yep, I don't know. <laughs> I'm bad, sorry. I got nothing. I got nothing. I know I'm a stickler a lot with games, so saying, like, which one was my favorite, I think I would have to... No, that's just, like, a really good question. But yeah, definitely something to do in December. I think so. Because we might experience the game of the year before then. We're going to be playing freaking God of War in November. God of War is probably going to take the cake. Even though, even though as much as I love the other God of War, I would have never put that at the top of my list of game of the year. Even though it was amazing and all these things. But like for game of the year for me it would have to be something that I would... Uh, that I was just so, I just enjoyed to the max. That made me feel a certain way. And even though God of War was such a dope game, it didn't make me feel. It did not make me feel as much as a lot of games do. It made me think like, oh, this is sick. Or, you know, how, how the world looked and how the combat was and how the game flowed. 
how the story was told there were twists there were reveals it was cool it was a great game don't get me wrong but like personally personally wait when do we play elden ring when do we play elden ring even though i didn't play it on stream as much as like some other games i did play a little bit elden ring dude i don't know Elden Ring was a great ex that was this year. See, Elden Ring was an incredible experience. And you know what's the funniest thing there is I have to give it extra props because of how I was not interested in it the slightest. I didn't care to play it at all. I simply started playing it just so I can play with nuns because I know nuns has always wanted to get into those kind of games. And I thought it would be easier and more fun for him if he had someone like it to tag along. That being said, once we realized that the co-opness of the game wasn't really as great as I'd hoped, um, that's just the way that those Souls games go, I uh, I found that we played a lot of the games by ourselves doing things. It was very, very interesting. and I, There's so much to explore and all the time. It's so much worth the money. It, it was worth more money than it, it cost. Elden Ring is worth so much more than it cost. Oh, yeah, it's gotten better. See, there you go. There you go. They, you know, it's cool to fix things, but like, like I say, when it comes to like DLC for games, I'm playing the game when it comes out. That's when I'm excited for it. You lose the momentum after you finish the game. And then months later, three, four months later, a DLC comes out that has maybe a few hours of content. And I'm supposed to be like, whoa, I can't wait to play this. Like, no, that momentum's gone. Like, I've already moved on to other stuff that I'm excited about. I miss out on so much DLC. Uh, it's one of my least favorite things. I'm sorry. I love that it exists and that it, it prolongs the story and life of games. I hate that it doesn't come out right away. <laughs> and because, yeah, it loses momentum. Now, granted, some stuff I don't get until much later. You know, I don't wait. I wait till it's like on sale or something. And then I do have a lot of content just right off the bat. Yeah, it's very interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, dude, that'd be really cool, Mountie. We should make a list. I wonder if we should also spend that time going back and making a uh, making a, uh, a a last year's list because we didn't do that. And we could put those. We can put images of those on the on the on the front page, so people can kind of just see what what I enjoyed most. My huge list of games, I still want to put that. I still want to keep that. It's just a good organization of games we play on stream. But I kind of, I really like this idea. And it really paints a picture of what I'm into. And, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I really like that. Hey, it doesn't have to be games that came out this year, though, does it? Are we talking about, like, because it's games that we played on the channel throughout the year? Or is it games that came out this year? it's okay either way it's okay either way but um i don't play every game that comes out so it's hard for me to to do that if we did it based on the channel oh it's my list then i think that's really funny because some of them might be really old games <laughs> like what if i put like the first final fantasy on there and stuff right it'd be funny i'm not going to because i've played that in the past it wasn't but uh played is played i love it you're yeah you got a brilliant that was a really good idea though you're like yeah <laughs> great man it's fantastic i wonder how penguin's doing is penguin doing good are you so you're just working man and do you have a lot of extra work because i know that are people calling you because their internet's doing bad? Is that what's happening? Is because I know that yeah, I feel like that might be what's happening. I don't know if your internet is pers is, is doing bad, but if everyone else is, <laughs> that would be bad. Uh, guys, let's fa let's focus on some Harley Quinn. Or nope, we have to go back to the Belfry to continue the Mister Freeze stuff. We can do something for the Harley Quinn, and we got to return to the Belfry for the other stuff. So let's go save it and do a kidnapping to progress. Uh, what's her face? Is that what it is, man? So Because I don't feel like it's your internet. That's the issue. <laughs> That's so rough. I would, I would probably be losing it today. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> if you get bronchitis, then you might not be able to talk on the phone, and you got to call it today. <laughs> Just freaking start coughing profusely apparently you can cause your own bronchial infection 
It, you don't have to be sick to get it. This is what I'm learning. I didn't watch my act. No. <laughs> oh, I'm eating my <laughs> That's. Whoa, what's going on over there? I'd say there's gunfire. That looks like there's a bunch of gunfire over there. Silent takedown. Silent takedown from above. Gotta Who wants some? I think Nuns is home. <laughs> Nuns is home. <laughs> okay, we definitely have to progress some story now because I got to I got to catch up to where we left off with Nuns. Happy to help. Get home hey. safe. Get home safe. Drugs. Don't live your life. Oh, do it. That's when dude is excited. He also does that in the mornings to be like, good morning. <laughs> I really ought to get it on video one of these days. It's really easy to instigate though, because um, let's say the cane's laying down and it's morning time. If I kind of like bury my face in cane, then and dude can't really see my face too well. And then he starts screaming at me. Get up, get up. <laughs> it's ridiculous, but it's kind of cute. And he does it all the time. Just what we needed in Gotham. Oh, you went through more and found three more? No, no, you, those are, remember, if you keep looking, you grabbed cards from, from that. I guarantee they're from that. You probably, you would have, we would have figured out when you, but you can show me them and I can tell you. Yeah. But some of, like, there's a lot of really good cards in this free-for-all deck. So, a lot of cards. Like, Jared gave me, like, three full portrait legendaries as well. Like, yeah. Maybe they're not full portrait, but they're three legendaries. Yeah, I gotta believe that. It's... Ooh, that's so... This is that same one that I that I, that you one. got, Busoya. That's the same bearded man that I that was a part of the trade yesterday. This is just a different version of him. Hey, Gabranth. Gabranth? I'm not a big Gabranth fan. I gotta believe these are from uh, the pack, from those. But I mean, they're still yours. They're, it's not. It doesn't matter if they're legendary. It's just you know, nothing. No, I don't think we pulled them from the booth. But yeah, keep them. Put them in your deck and stuff. Jared, that's what the free-for-all deck is. There's a lot of really good cards in it, and we need to go through them and see which ones fit us. I haven't honestly looked through more so than just trying to find Final Fantasy 13 characters. So now I feel like I need to go through and see what kind of backups they got for Ice and Lightning, and then maybe, maybe I can start... I, I can be fucking nasty. Six bucks? Did you buy it? Okay, Jesus. I, Jared, I, I, I was talking to Jared, and, and Penguin called this. I saw your chair last night, and he, he told me straight up he bought some cards for a collection from the Opus One collection. And I said, "You motherfucker!" That's fucking cheap. I said, "You're gonna Wait, build, we're Chris. Gonna you're do? gonna build premium, perfect decks, and that's a disadvantage for us." Yeah. And he said, "I'm not putting it in my deck. I'm not putting it in my deck." I said, "Okay, if you're just collecting them just for whatever, that's fine." 
Jared, Jared will, uh, Jared will be, uh, fair. <laughs> but Penguin, uh, Penguin totally, <laughs> he likes to build, like, he likes to know the decks, build the decks, and then buy the cards specifically for the decks. Which is, is smart, it saves way more money than doing booster packs and stuff. Um, of course, yeah, yeah. So, and that, it makes perfect sense for, in a competitive sense. But because all three of us are new to this... I wanted us all to have the same same experience, and Jared's gonna end up having these crazy good decks. Right. You know what, nuns? You could always just jump into my game and then help me get through some of the stuff you've already done before, and then uh, and then we'll jump into your hard mode as soon as we've caught up. But whenever you want. Ow. And I'm on medium, so we'll go through some of the stuff a lot faster. What are you doing, you weirdo? <laughs> How did I get that? <laughs> I really I was like, I don't know where nuns is and stuff. Make what is he said I got nuns tied to or handcuffed to my desk working for me. And then now because you're home, you're here. He's like, who the hell did I get now? <laughs> who the hell did I hit? Yep. That's exactly what it reminded me of. Yeah. Uh, I got diabetes in one of you. Whatever it was. The diabetes commercial for Family Guy. Who the hell did I hit? <laughs> that was good. That was good timing, man. <laughs> Whatever. I can't eat it. I'm just doing petty crime right now. I don't think this is petty crime, but you know, it's not as bad. Maybe this will help. How do I know that? Oh, that's straight up. That's just fucking business terminology. Petty cash. <laughs> The petty cash is available for spending on uh, minor Perfect. purchases. <laughs> I went to a website for a Dr. Q. Need you to look it up for me. Melty, are you still in chat? This isn't going to end well, is it? Yeah, nun's got a joke. He's got a joke. Oh, oh. Melty says no, he's not still in chat. Oh, all right. Well, Melty, when you get back in chat, what's up? What's up? <laughs> got a question. Got a question. Be loud about it. What has 142 teeth and holds back a monster? I wonder if Mounty knows this. Brainiacs out there. D -d -d. It's a man joke. If that helps at all, it's a man I'm joke. I'm a construction worker. He's a construction. He, he he's around guys that say. Perverse and silly jokes all day. Yeah, I'm around a couple. All right, no answer. Right, you give no an answer. answer. All right. So, what has 142 teeth holds back a monster? Oh shit! Dang it! You oh, son shit. of a bitch, Melty! Melty, it to me. Melty. I don't know. It just sounded like it's a, good a random number. one. It's a random number, it right? Gets Why you thinking? It's provocative. It's provocative. Sixty-nine. What is sixty-nine teeth? Can That's awesome. Thanks for the. Thanks for the. <laughs> oh snap! How many? How much teeth do things have? Zippers. Yeah, zippers have. Uh... <laughs> About 142 teeth. <laughs> All right, we have to fast travel. Funny. 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 That. He said that zipper would hit the floor when it's required, I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. New data was added to the board. I don't think we've examined that yet, but we have done these things. Dr. No. Penguin refused to talk. It's like he doesn't take us seriously. You may be surprised to learn Batman struggled yep. with similar challenges early in his career. So for a time, he focused his energies elsewhere in the city. When word of his work got out, people were more inclined to cooperate. This 
city. We've been so preoccupied with Batman's last case, we've neglected the rest of Gotham. Yeah, so this is more of like a sure thing that's happening now, guys, because Nuns and I are having a hard time waiting. I'll talk about after the cuts. There has been a marked increase in gang-related crime. Not to mention Oswald's own business dealings. Maybe if we mess with those, plus a few other crimes, he'll feel like talking. You've also received messages from Lucius Fox and Detective Montoya. They may be able to help. Thanks, Alfred. Sometimes I need to look at things through Batman's eyes. Funny, he used to say the same thing about Batgirl. Ha, <laughs> yeah, totes. So, um, it's a sure thing now. Nuns and I are totally getting a couple boxes. We're gonna have a day of opening up so many booster packs. So many. It's gonna be so many booster packs. So, I was, I think that's 24 a piece. 72 total um it's gonna be on the weekend not 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 this saturday but the following saturday so it's like like two weeks off sort of so uh, a couple weeks from now but um nuns and i are gonna order the boxes i think tomorrow or something <laughs> so yeah we're gonna do a stream we're gonna be hanging out i just have the stream up it doesn't matter if people visit or participate at the very least we'll have a vod uh but um you know i know i know you guys aren't necessarily like big final fantasy peeps but it's still kind of cool just hanging out you guys will get a chance to see jared and, and meet my older brother an encrypted message from be cool Fox Tecca. sorry i've been a ghost since the funeral but i just realized i forgot to send flowers if you're ever in the neighborhood let's meet in my building I'd like to give you them in person. Hmm. I'll probably be... Oh, yeah, to remind. I'll probably... Uh, Lucius Fox wants to give us flowers. I guess as soon as I know Lucius how long it's going to take for... Knowing Lucius... Now, I'll probably just start promoting it later this week. I'll put it on Discord, and then... Um, and then throughout next week, I'll just kind of have it in the title. Maybe... Mm, Maybe I'll leave it on the page. Maybe I'll I'll write something on the on the screen, on our on the on the page. We'll just say like a special stream this Saturday, something like that. That way, because not everybody reads the title. For anyone before, I don't think everyone everyone pays attention to the title. So technology and equipment they can only dream of. But if we take down Freeze, we'll also take down their new weapon supply. Two birds, one stone. Drugs. Organ trafficking, Mr. Freeze. Wait, what's going? Master Richard. Yeah. Could you keep an eye on Master Jason? He's been quite upset since the events at Star Labs. So the pills were prescribed by some doctor no one's even heard of. Any other leads? The website for the mysterious Dr. Q seems to have vanished, but we'll keep looking. I haven't been able to find direct evidence of Harley being attached to this, but I know it's her. So what's her angle? Is that not always the yeah, question with Dr. Quinzel? Let me know when you find something, Alfred. Of course. <laughs> uh, in this case, oh, well, I thought I just did that. Here we go. Here she is. Nope, that's Mr. Freeze. Okay, wait, how do we investigate the case file? Oh, we probably have to go somewhere else, so not here. Okie dokie. Should we see if we can craft something, maybe? 
Yeah, get, get a new bat suit. Alright, let's just rock this one for a little bit. Oh, you know what? Because I haven't even seen what kind of uh, customization options we have here. Could be cool. Oh my god. Uh, totally taken off the excessive headpiece. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, got to make it more declare, declare, make it more visible. Ooh, these are sick. No. Uh, we're going to go purple. Get that pur uh, purple more prominent in the suit. Oh, yeah. Got to match it. Got to match it. I really like what we've made here. Excellence. Uh... City. I don't think we have gas. We, we don't pay for gas, do we? Melty's, Melty's asking if us hillbillies have city gas or propane. City. But we don't. We don't do gas. Unfortunately, the regular Electric. managed to escape with a lot of confidential data. Crap. Who knows what they got their hands on? I'll keep an eye on the usual black market yep. sites, just in case. Oh, nuns jumped in. Right as I freaking clicked the door, so now it might have messed things up. Oh no, and now you're traveling. Ball. Too expensive? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> solar melty he must have gas i i wish you know it seems like solar is just a smart thing to do portland oregon does so yo are you wearing your uh that's your fucking samurai one as well oh cool well what were the chances of that nuts and i are wearing the same gimmick the fuck <laughs> that was good to, well that worked out all right. Project at work. Long story. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. Hard to hook. Sound like not too much. Stuff like little one. All right. So we gotta bust some criminal deals, guys. To. Uh, to get some more information on Oswald. Shadow Penguin's great uncle? <laughs> I don't know, what do you want to go with that one? <laughs> yeah, you figure it out. I did, but I'm not going to watch videos that tell me how to do things. What kind of tips? Any tips? Got any tips? Hmm. Well, it seems like I have too many backup cards, even though I gave up some backup cards to put in some summons and maybe a forward or two that I liked. And that, and so I have less backup cards than the starter deck started me with, which makes me feel like I had really bad pulls yesterday because <laughs> I got all my backups. Oh, okay. Well, I never watch things on my phone. So, I, you know, I can find it on the, you know, I legitimately watch it while I'm like sitting here on the desktop. What I think I can turn off. 
Hold on, just so you guys can pick up nuns on this whenever he talks. If I turn off my noise gate and all of the things that help suppress shit, you guys should be able to pick up everything. Jake, talk. Huh? Yep, All right, I've already retrieved the goods. Oh, there's multiple mod chips. Oh, really? Nuns is stuck. Where are you? Behind the truck? Behind the truck. Jake's behind the truck. I know. I think you're screwed, man. Yep, I'm caught. I'm caught. Yo, Penguin, thank you so much for the fucking sub! <laughs> Someone hit the goddamn hot dog. Someone hit the fucking hot dog. That's gonna be a celebration for Penguin. Thanks, man. Yeah, <laughs> Melty, that's the first time you've said... You said that. You said you called him by his real name. Nuns. Or, yeah. Me. You. Because I said Jake. Speak or whatever. I just said, I hear Jake. <laughs> oh, double. Oh, I got the finish. I got the finish. Good night. Oh, I know. She likes to make them, like, sniff it before they take it. Smell it. Smell it. Now take it. <laughs> Jake the snack. Yeah, that's close. Snack. You're not sure about it. Is that's that autocorrect? Was that autocorrect? <laughs> but abrasion? That would be great. <laughs> now you're making me think. You know, that would probably be inappropriate. Because when I hear but abrasion, it'd be like, what song should I put for that? And then the first thing I think of is what, what in the butt. And then that just gets inappropriate. So. Uh -oh. <sighs> I thought it was, dude, though, fucking Penguin. I don't know if you caught it yesterday um, or if you were occupied at the time or busy at the time, but when we talk to Harley as as Nightwing and the very first thing she does is call him Buttwing or, like, or Nightbutt, it was one or the other. I was, you popped into my head. I said, like, what the fuck? It, it was just weird. Auto it into change. Jake the snack. I, I like it. He said that, it. Jake. It was a, the I'll word that was on. He said Jake was the word that was autocorrected. That. So, Jack the snack? Maybe that's what it was supposed to be. Uh, there's actually... Okay, here's a fun... Here's a fun little fact. And I still call... I call Jake Jack sometimes. Batarang. So, the funny thing about that is... Batarang. When Nuns and I used to work at uh, Toyota Puyallup... We would go to a uh, fuck. I shouldn't have said the city. Whatever. Um, we would go to the um, local KFC, right? And there was a lady there that didn't. She, well, she was somewhat foreign, right? Um, she was yeah. But the way that she would say Jake would be Jack, and we Jake never knew his order was ready because his name's not Jack. And so, <laughs> that took a couple times. It was so learn. funny. Because Jake would always be the last person to get his food. Because he never knew his order was ready. He was just in there. <laughs> so every once in a while, I'll call him Jack. Jack? Jack? <laughs> so, fun, fun thing. <laughs> Burn the vodka. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah you snake. That's what I thought. That's what I figured. Snack was meant to be snake. Yep, 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 yep. Jake has got that his whole life. Just like I've got 
Dan the Man, Dan Marino, Book 'em Dano. Ha <laughs> ha. You know, but what Jake gets all the time now is that damn State Farm bullshit. We don't need to mention it. We don't need to bring it up. Just it's stop. it's a sore subject. We don't. It's frustrating. <laughs> That's horrible. Uh, I got an organ trafficking over here. What? Organ trafficking over here. So we got to do a couple things uh, because to stop Penguin. Penguin's totally fucking with us. Uh oh, we're not going to make it. Um, he's totally fucking with us. He's lying to us. He's making us do the runaround. Meanwhile, he's committing crimes. He's got this uh, organ trafficking thing going on. He's got some theft and whatever shit going on with his mob. We're taking those out before we go back and confront him. So, that's what's going on right now. Yo, this is that Oregon one where we have to actually have to take it and deliver it. How cool is that? Just swooped right in. Oh, none's fucked up. I'm going to grab it. And we're gone. Wait, what are you talking about? Oh boy. We got a minute and a half to deliver this organ. Oh my god, why would it have... I threw a battering while I drove by. Fucking drive by helping nuns. We got a minute left, but we're really close, so we're gonna be just fine. What happens if I drift, stop, and dismount at the same time? The bike fucking flies. <laughs> Here we go, we did it. We did eat. Any more of these gangs. I've got a medical team lined up with you. Just happy it got here in time. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm pretty sure we are back to story stuff and we have to confront. Oh, no, 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 we gotta go visit. We have to have two quick cutscenes, and then... And then we are uh, gonna go confront that penguin fuck. We're going to visit Detective Montoya. I think she has some information for us. I almost did it. I wanted to get above that. I know what you're doing. Check it. Get get down and then just resummon. I was trying to travel much quicker that way. That was close. That was close. I think I was too close. If I would have popped back earlier, I could have grappled and then jumped and then landed. Like in mid jump, I would have called for the bike and it would have appeared up there and I could have got on it and taken off. You know, fast travel, baby. <laughs> hey Ty, you freaking weirdo. What's up, man? Alexandru Macedon? Who the hell? And honestly, the spelling of Alexandru? That's a, like, Drew Hill? Were you a big fan of Drew Hill growing up, Ty? When you were, like, unborn? Like, negative, negative age? Big fan of Drew Hill? Longest wheelie. Ah, is that how Alexander spelled in your language? That's what I kind of figured it was. But that's interesting. I don't know, Alexander Macedon? I don't know who that is. Who is that, Ty? You trying to educate me here? Did you, are you, did you just read a book? Did you read it? 
In a book. <laughs> you seen Dodgeball? Oh man, classic. I just tried to run this car off the road and I didn't like it. God, <laughs> dang it. I don't kind of bug until. Oh, no, I'm good. All right, we're good. Okay, I'm gonna go talk to Montoya. Yeah, well, he said it was good. <laughs> Some big king or whatever. Let me. Ah, <laughs> this doesn't matter. Uh, doesn't matter. Oh, unless it, uh, I don't. You, do, do you think that's like? That's not Alexander the Great, right? Or is is? I know that's not his name, but I'm wondering if like Macedon is like. A spelling or a word that means something different that I just don't know. Probably just an last name. <laughs> oh, it is Alexander the Great. That's cool. Then, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, he's yeah, he's legendary. He uh, he took control. He took over so much territory. Uh, but then, like, he lost it all again. Like once he died and and everything moved on, like all that territory he took, he it just separate. It just went back. Just converted back, you know. I think over the years, everyone just got their shit back. Yeah, <laughs> doesn't matter what you do, you know, you might have a good run for a little bit, but things change. Did you, uh, did you ever finish that, that game that you had a program? Did it turn out well, Ty? You got your grade? Was it a fun game? <laughs> a super simplistic fun game? <clears throat> okay, so it looks like Montoya gives us special challenges, uh, which are pretty good. That's pretty cool. Alright, now let's go talk to Lucius, and then we're going to go talk to... Luscious. We're going to go back to Penguin after we go talk to Luscious Fox. <laughs> Didn't finish it. It was amazing, at least. That's what my teacher said. He didn't finish it. They said you had something good going on here, but I'm going to have to give you a failing grade because you didn't complete it. That didn't go well. I'm going to go the long way. Oh, cool. Later. You oh, should shit. Yeah, there was, a, there was a battering over here. You totally just bailed. You're, oh my god, you are right here. <laughs> he was right there, guys. I thought he was. <laughs> Great. There's a battering right here. Ooh, we got half of them in this uh, district. You know what? We probably should fly. How can we? Uh, no, I'll drive. I know you can teleport, and you're all capable of. It's too high. <laughs> then we're gone. Almost 300 lines of code, and ooh, 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 and was just halfway done. That's a lot. That's a lot, man. Oof. So you just waited too long to start it? It was definitely more of a, like, two-weekend project as opposed to a one-weekend project. That's fair. You did you did the best you could, so that there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, we don't need to take out. We're we're trying to continue the story. Ignore ignore the the break. But did you guys see me take out those people with the bike? Awesome. It looks like you can use the bike to damage enemies as you show up to a scene. I don't like one. Oh, that's mean. That's mean. That's insensitive, man. Ah oh, shit, I did it again. That's insensitive, Ty. <laughs> A little way too big at the moment. Of course, I would not. I wouldn't. Ex I, 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 I would expect nothing less. Uh, you are. You're. You're a dreamer. dreamer. You got. You got big. You got big. Big ideas. Oop, big thoughts. Found, big found, dreams. Found a found a oh well, fuck. Where you're fucking far, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Once every time. <laughs> Uh. All right.
right, let's go talk to this luscious man. I'll have to get another tie. I didn't want to backtrack so far. Uh, it's somewhat of a compliment tie. It's good. It's good to it's good to have big ideas, but sometimes you need to know, you know, when to scale it back. You know. But you don't always have to. It's good to have big dreams. But some things are much more achievable if you make the the dream or whatever a little bit more realistic it doesn't have to be like you don't have to take away all the gusto but you know you tweak something that just makes it a little bit more possible okay mr mr man word I wish there was a way to turn up the audio better. Not at all today. I woke up and I wasn't. I guess I kind of got lost. I was playing on my phone. I was about to say I got lost in the podcast. But I know I will mess with it some more. I'm excited. Tomorrow, tomorrow we ought to, you know, get get boxes. So they come within time for ne not next Saturday, but the following I give them like a week and a half to get to us. Speaking of background, especially Nightwing and Robin. Nightwing slash Robin or... So you're saying Dick Grayson. I began to watch the old Teen Titans. No, dope, 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 dope. Cool. The old, the old, old one is better than when they did the whole uh, Teen Titans Go. But... I mean, it, the characters are fun. The characters are great. Um, <laughs> I used to watch the, the first one. The old one. Just watch yourself. Penguin's not a generous guy. He'll want something in return. I'm dying to try this baby out. How do I start? You're getting ahead of yourself. Before you can use the courage, you'll have to clear a path. Whatever I need to do. Lately, the GCPD is not content to have Jack loose around. Launched a network of surveillance drones to patrol the sky. Oh, shit. If they're looking for you when you try to get airborne, they won't hesitate to take me. No, I'm so in Star and Raven. Swished bodies. <laughs> that sounds really funny because they have such such opposite demeanors, right? Starfire being so bubbly and happy all the time, and Raven being so dark. <laughs> I have a bad memory, but I can imagine that's a funny one. Although, is that one kind of bad? Because uh, is Starfire, does she end up, like, being able to have, like, she's able to see some of, like, Raven's memories and stuff? She sees, like, the real, the kind of tormented stuff Raven's had to go through and why she's so dark? Nope, not that, okay. okay. Just lighthearted, just lighthearted fun. Okay, got to reach the Iceberg Lounge now, guys. We're going to go talk to that bastard. Look at how when you're playing with someone, you can just watch them travel across the rooftops it's awesome. Although, did you guys see him disappear? It's because this motherfucker can teleport. We're stuck flying, gliding through the uh, through the sky at a slow pace. Meanwhile, it's actually a long process. Though. It seems like it, yeah. But I can go all the way across the city if I just get the same alpha to get high altitude. Hmm. But it only lasts five seconds at a time. Uh, the mind switch bodies. Oh, right. Obviously, yeah. I wasn't sure if it was like a soul thing. No. 
it wouldn't be that far fetched that if someone went into someone else's body that they kind of if it specifically specifically I mean like I said I don't remember the episode if specifically they it was something that had like it showed their minds transfer but if it showed their like they just their souls or whatever their personalities their beings transfer bodies then it's not far fetched to think that one can you know have a flashback or something of of what the other person had experienced and stuff that's not crazy. I'm sure there's plenty of shit that's done that exact writing. Because your comment where you said minds switch bodies and bodies don't hold memories is a bit condescending because obviously, I mean, obviously I know that. <laughs> but that doesn't mean that I still don't think that originally what I said is completely uh, plausible. In a, in a fantasy storytelling sense. Not realistically. Not realistically. The point of the episode was them for, to understand how each other experienced world through the other's eyes. Seeing that sense, if that's the point, then yeah. I mean, that's not crazy. Especially because um, to experience a world through the other's eyes, one's experiences mold that. So being in the body of said, of Starfire being in the body of Raven having those memories and the history and stuff is going to influence how one sees the world so it wouldn't be crazy for them to be like yo this is why so after this mission actually no I'm, I'm pretty sure there's like an extra one oh we were already in here alright so oh no 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 I think there's guys outside no okay no we might be safe here no we're not There's a guy uh, coming around the corner to the right. Okay, we're good, we're good. Oh, Penguin, you got your internet fixed. Righteous. I'm gonna jump across and get those guys over there. Oh god, I got caught. Fucking blinding, baby. So we gotta... Nuns and I are gonna switch back to hard mode after we catch up story-wise to where he's left off. Uh, all it really does, it's gonna be the same experience. It just takes a lot longer to kill enemies. Oh, and it's a lot easier to get down. Oh, we're good, we're good. We just have to go in there, huh? Sweet. Word tie. I don't hold anything against you. I, I especially don't hold anything against people that uh, English is a second language. Not saying that you don't speak incredible English. Just saying that. Um, sometimes people that that's the only language they speak might have some underlying meaning to phrases and words that people who don't speak that language all the time, they might not pick up on certain things or whatnot. Um, so yeah, no, I'm not mad. But in the same sense, when I read it, I felt like I had to say, like, I am aware of this. And this is why my idea wasn't poppycock. <laughs> Who's your favorite of the group, though, Ty? of the Teen Titans on the topic. Who's your favorite? So, if you guys just noticed, Peng uh, Penguin stopped us and he said, shut up, they're listening. So now we gotta find the bugs. And Nuns has done this before, so he knows where they are. We got a bug here in the plant. Oh, 
Oh, Ty, did you read the, you got all the negative reviews and stuff? You should have been here yesterday. There was, there was a bunch of people that uh, KG rated the channel, and um, I, I felt like I was able to help people formulate their own opinion of the game. And uh, I didn't hear, I mean, I, I granted no one wanted to share negative opinions, but I, multiple people were like, why is this getting such bad reviews? Why, what's the, and then someone even popped in and said, because seeing you play this, I'm 100% going to buy this game. Someone said that, and it's like, it just goes to show that, like, I I remember, and I know why. Red uh, Reddit blew up, and and was there. Everyone was talking so much shit about the game. Thirty being limited to thirty FPS on on next gen consoles, yeah, big whoop. But then everything that followed was people that just wanted to jump onto that bandwagon and find a reason to bring down a game. When the reviews came, no professional. None just said this game's badass. No professional reviewer would think about going against the grain of the general public, especially this day and age in society that if you go against the, the group, then you're canceled, you're shut down, you're an idiot, right? You're something wrong with you. So, of course, all the reviews are going to follow the same feelings that everyone feels around it. Now, I'm not saying that those guys, how they feel isn't legitimate, but I would tell you that if you are just someone that enjoys video games, and if you like Batman, you're going to fucking love this game. It's incredible fun being able to play with someone, nuns and I going around fighting crime together and like strategically being able to handle situations and everything is 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 been great so far. I don't know what everyone's beef is. I do I do know what it is and I don't th it's it's unfounded. Um what else was I going to say? I don't know. Yeah, I should, penguin, can you refresh it because I I, I you I yeah. Well, everybody always wants more from yeah, everything. Exactly. So it, no one's ever happy. Out, I think they hyped it up so much themselves that they're like, oh, this is going to be so good. And then when it didn't deliver on certain things that they were hoping it would be, yeah. it's like automatically oh, shit. And that's not mm -hmm. necessarily that's the case. Keep in touch. People are funny like that sometimes. Nothing, Ty. Uh, the other things are totally explainable by... Um, just by playing the game, play the game, and you'll see that it's a different feel than the Arkham games. They one of the other things I saw was the comparison of the city and how bright and beautiful it is compared to this game, where it's dark and you see some lights in the background here and there. Motherfucker, this is what a real city looks like. <laughs> Gotham Arkham games, which this isn't a sequel to the Arkham games, right? And so the Arkham games themselves, you have thugs on rooftops, you got all this stuff going on. There's, it's just you can't go anywhere. This game has legitimate NPCs that aren't enemies, people that are happy to see you. Meanwhile, you can actually do a legitimate patrol, as in travel along the rooftops and searching for crime. You'll find crime that's not on your map. Like this game brings a realistic interpretation to Batman's night to night activities right I, when it comes to the playing of it it's fine everything's fine with the fighting it's just like the Arkham games is what people probably expected um, all four characters are different oh yeah we were saying the stuff people were complaining about uh, another thing people complained about they said I saw a thing on Reddit and it said Gotham Knights uh, character screens or whatever look like a mobile game and I'm just like, okay, what is it supposed to look like? Well, uh, mobile. There's lots of mobile games that they take from what other games do and or it just doesn't make any sense. Mobile games don't have this many options for when it comes to customiz customizing your character and changing things and like for to have so many different outfits as well and being able to have each of them be so unique in that way. It's like every character is there. It's, it's not, it's, it's a great game. It's a fantastic game. I have lots of positive things to say about it. And I think that a lot of people need to give the game a shot and, you know, come up with their own their own their own Just opinion on chill, it. You know? Just chill. But something about violently agree. Yeah, yeah, now I remember. Now I remember Penguin. Yeah, 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 I remember that. I did you said I watched a video on YouTube that said that this was bad. So I know yeah, I remember that. I remember that. <laughs> very funny. It was very funny. He's right. <laughs> oh, dude, are we talking about Man Bat, Ty? Because um, uh, he's there's the villains in the game, the character, like you know, the characters and the story so far has been great. 
it, it, it prolongs. It's not linear. You can go around the city. I don't know. Again, I, I still, I still, I just think that everyone jumped on board and wanted to hate something. They wanted to hate it, and so they did. <laughs> Man, that is terrifying. Um, do you guys remember in the Arkham games though, when when Manbat shows up and you're flying in the sky, and then the first encounter you have with him, he grabs Batman and just like in your face, but ah, he's like, "What the fuck?" I remember that legitimately made me jump. I saw it the other way back, and I think it was first launch, and it was kind of hyped. It looked amazing, and being able to play as Red Hood, exactly, yeah. You, I'm not going to because I like to be the hero, Ty. But so many people. Uh, so many people are ju are just like you in that same sense. They're excited to play as Red Hood and to be able to have uh, have the character involved and and to see how the characters. There's so many cutscenes and depending on who you're playing as, you'll get different conversations with with those people in the cutscenes. I bring up Harley. I watch nuns go talk to Harley in jail, and nuns as Timothy Drake. She was talking to him like he was a child, and Robin was acting like a punk kid. I forgot how she talked to Batgirl, but yesterday when we played as Nightwing, going to talk to Harley, the, she's t she's sexualizing him. She's talking about his butt and his nice his nice ass and stuff, and with this and that and whatnot. And it's like it's completely different experiences. Um, with we you know obviously some of the dialogue is going to be the same because it's got to progress the story and so, but like you're going to get something different with each character you play as, as well as you're able to switch characters whenever you want. The characters, all characters, level up at the same same time you don't gotta grind out just because you want to switch a character uh so all you have to do is kind of like you know you you leveled them up off without playing as them so you kind of have to spend the time to spend their abilities and maybe equip the newer gear you got and stuff like that we should have just <laughs> yeah but uh, i don't know How bad? oh jesus that's nuts. Yeah, I don't... Uh, that is not in this. And take over Apocalypse. I don't know of Apocalypse in DC. When I hear Apocalypse, I only think of Marvel. Unless it's a different spelling. There is a different spelling is that apocalypse but uh something's telling me it's not that different spelling no that could have also just been nah, i don't know there's so much stuff when it comes to comics i'm not gonna make it so much stuff when it comes to comics that uh i can never keep up with all of you guys and what you guys know i've never seen a hell bad then again i don't i don't spend my time looking through stuff on we're not gonna make it on the comics oh boy we're not gonna make it oh boy <laughs> oh dark sides yeah okay then that makes sense that that play okay 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 to take over oh okay it, the planet as opposed to a person okay it's like that's the that whole place is already you know dark and red black and red already and that's the suit man i feel like you know you want to take over a place like that you should bring some color it should have been a full rainbow-ass suit. And he should have came in being like, I'm going to change things around here. And all of you flying, winged, goggle-wearing motherfuckers are going to start putting a smile on your face. And we're going to start picking up people and dropping them off in nice places to brighten their days. That's what I would have did if I was Batman. That's what I would have done. Oh, the suit itself, everyone contributed, so it's like some uber cool super super suit. That's awesome. <laughs> so we're supposed to check on Alfred? Yeah. Alone? What what kind of powers does the suit have? Sheesh. It's a pizza maker. Penguin, I missed your what you said. That's awesome. Uh, Clayface, dude. Okay, Penguin, have you seen the Harley Quinn stuff? I I couldn't help but think of it right then because uh, the HBO Harley Quinn animated series, the Clayface on that is just so ridiculous. But um, 
<laughs> Baby, this is really, that's really cool, too. I, it's hard for me to choose. Obviously, I love the Riddler because you always got a riddle whenever he would show up. There would always be some sort of fun riddle that maybe you can try to figure out. Um, so I've always been a big fan of that. Um, ooh, Nuns likes Bane. And, hey, I can't dispute Bane. This, that's a luchador, right? <laughs> he wears the mask, at least. Um, this is a really good scene, actually, guys. They're talking so quietly. I don't know why, how I can't boost it. I don't know what the Wayne Foundation will do without Bruce. It's very funny. The Harley Quinn animated show, HBO, is very funny. It's got a couple seasons. I'm pretty sure it'll have a third one. Very funny. Nick had his first investor call the other day. I'm surprised how well he did. a couple old geezers in the middle of the road. Every yeah, day, so we I got... You geezers escaped from the old folks' home. You geezers escaped? Out here at night. This is great. Every day I, find I don't know Jacob Kane's history, you know, other other than being related to empty Bruce. Empty um, but I know Alfred's history, and I knew this was not going to be a good idea. <laughs> Look at how Alfred just approaches him. I think the mistakes in this kid's wife started before the face tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> he just really likes Mike Tyson. He just decided to keep going with it. But yeah, Penguin's also a really good, a really good one. Might be a bad face. I love the tortured soul of Man Bat. That's really sad. Kill, killing his wife, um, lab partner. We'll have a drink. Catch up. Probably his world, right? When he uh, just because he wanted to prolong his own life to be with her. And then the means at which he does ends up getting her killed, and now he's got to live this life as a monster without someone to love him. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is a very sad, it's just kind of a sad right, picture Alfred, right there, right? What do you have on the court? The court is an old folk town. The stuff circus people love. I love Penguin's constant, I don't know, Penguin, what, Penguin's history of being like, I remember reading about them when I was a kid, being rich and then losing it all and then having the to get it back. I love that because he's very vengeful with it all. Uh, 14 days of free stuff on 76. If you just log in and claim it every day, you'll get a special outfit at the end. Oh, it's one of those things. Did it, has it shown the special outfit? I remember them doing that the previous year, and I think the last outfit was... No, maybe not. I don't remember. I didn't. I definitely didn't get all of the things. So we're going to the Powers Club. Powers? <laughs> yeah, you know Powers. <laughs> <laughs> what? Alfred, I reached the Powers Club. It looks older than Gotham and even less friendly. That mansion is extremely. I really like that um, every time you leave the Belfry, it's kind of like play the game at your own pace, at your own accord, however you want to go about the night. Uh, obviously, you got to do certain things to progress certain missions, but that doesn't mean that, you know, you have to focus anything in particular, which all the Arkham games were in, in, like that in a way. Um, except, like, you could really just spend nights on patrol, not doing anything but patrolling. He was pretty good at that, huh? So I wanted to tweak something with the options. Give me a second here. Maybe we should put everything back. I'm wondering if sound effects, and why it was so low in the conversations, is because they consider the cutscenes to be a sound effect. I've played games where they mix certain audios in the same category, even though you'll have a specific one called dialogue you'll still find that sometimes some dialogue is actually, I don't know, a part of the fucking sound effect. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So uh, we're just going to put those back and just hope that everything, that it gets better. It's a nice little greenhouse they got out here. I mean, not really nice because everything looks dead, but, you know, it looked probably nice at some point. So it's Fortress Superman in the middle of the star, of course, in the lantern of the green lantern. 
speed, speed through time by the Flash, technology being made by Cyborg, made to support immense pressure by Aquaman and Wonder Woman, helped forge an infamous. Oh wow! So, because it was like Forge and all these different things, it just kind of like I imagine in the comics they kind of just showed the suit being worked on in all those individual places. Unless we're talking about, like, individual pieces. Got that right. <laughs> ah, there it is, bro. High five, Ty. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, of course, leave the Superman one in the middle of a fucking star. The, the big one. That is cool. I see how they're doing the hammer. It's like, yeah, it's being forged. That's actually pretty cool, then. In the deepest steps. Is that a volcano? In the volcano of the Mexico? Oh, that is very cool. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I don't. Never knew of it, but that is pretty awesome. <laughs> Web penguin. Oh, guys, this is a Gotham by Gaslight reference. Look, Gotham by Gaslight. The 1800s were a fascinating, tum tumultuous time in Gotham City. This popular history textbook explores multiple notable events throughout the century, including the tenement typhoid epidemic the unsolved mystery of the Gotham grave robbers, and the story of the runaway, one of the era's most interesting and elusive outlaws. It's cool. So, the uh, Gotham by Gaslight is the steampunk uh, era and stuff. Nuns is just doing work. Go to sleep. Okay, so the blood is at your feet where you were at. AR picked a trace of the left blood trail. Let's see what else they can find. I jumped too far. There's something underneath the floor. Something underneath the floor. The hatch is wired to an Remember, it's the lamp at the end. Uh-huh. There must be some way to activate it. All right, so we got wires that are connected to this lamp. So we got a switch here that's going to activate something in the center of the room. And these wires are going to do different spots up there, so let's follow those wires. So we got one straight away, straight ahead to the left and one to the right. And we got guards in multiple places. So I think Nuns and I are just going to split up. And... Two guards right here. Ooh, okay. We're, Nuns and I are going to stick together. <laughs> just wait for him to steady. I'm gonna get this one over here first. Uh, I, I'm in the middle of one, but you can probably get one. Oh fuck! I didn't grab. He didn't grab. It's okay. You, they moved out of your, their your distance and fucking, you ended up throwing a battering or a shooting. Yeah. It happens to me all the time. You think you're sneaking up on an enemy? Oh, he had him. You think he's sneaking up on an enemy and then it moves. You see the press square or press triangle for a silent takedown and you're like okay i'm gonna press it and then they move slightly and you press it and then you just throw your battering it's like ah oh, shit <laughs> stuff happens but look guys we got one of the wires is connected to this bus very classic classic batman style okay we got one now we gotta go to the other side Yeah, uh, that's how you didn't. Slade. Obviously, uh, Deathstroke's really cool. They give a tribute to Slade in this. Let me give you, let me show you that. I don't know if Deathstroke's in the game, to be honest, but look, if you really love the guy, you could unlock his colorway and tribute Slade. <laughs> and then they do tributes to some of the other characters, but like the other characters outside of like an Atlantis or Cobra or uh, Court of Owls, they really only pay tribute to the other like players of the game. You got Grayson, you got Drake, and you got you know Red Hood as Todd. Why is why is Slade involved? Other than just being a very popular character of the franchise. <laughs> you gonna take down that chick? I take him down. Yeah, I got one. Nice. 
see how great that is, guys? We're just, we just, oh, see, spot's clear. Oh, no, this guy over here. You gonna get him? You wanna investigate that book over there? You gotta use the AR to focus it. He's got it. So now we gotta go back to the middle of the room and clear the guards from the club. We have another guard somewhere. Where is he? Oh, he's up above. Oh, he's gonna see us if we go around that corner. He's up here. Oh shit, he saw me. Oh shit. <laughs> Good thing we had nuns there. Just to quickly interrupt the dude where he shot me in the face. Alright, so how do we get back to the main spot again? We have to go over the banisters, don't we? Oh, do we now? Is this door open? I think this door. Yeah, yeah this door opens. Cool. Uh, I like the fact that in the other game, when you died, Slade would just be sad, disappointed when you, like, were facing him. It would be as if, like, you would always... That was the fun part. Whenever you died in the Arkham games, depending on how you died, uh, if it was... Because Slade was such a hard enemy, the fact you have a memory of Slade being disappointed in you just totally makes sense because Slade was literally... I, if I can recall, was always the most... He was the most challenging. I think in all of the Gotham games, you, it's not bad once you get used to it, but you just have to counter and counter and counter, yada, yada, yada. Uh, I remember dying to him a, a sufficient amount of times, and it, yeah. Yeah, it's very funny. <laughs> but dying to anyone, right? Especially if you die to Joker or whatever, this all the mockery, and it was great. It was great. All right, we got the switch. Let's flip it. This is when things get really cool. What's this? Secret passage? What's going on here? We're at a player's club. I'm pretty sure players clubs are just clubs for rich people to network and talk about how much better they are than everyone else. So, this abandoned, not abandoned, but now abandoned because we already beat the shit out of everyone that was occupying said players club has a secret passage down, down, down in the ground. In the ground. <laughs> Uh oh, we lost our comms. We don't need him. He really is in tie, because Batman at the very beginning of this game, maybe if you can check it out online or something, the opening cutscene, uh, or you can look at an old bot. Uh, no, you might not be able to access it right now. Um, okay, so yeah, look it up on YouTube or something. But the opening cutscene of like how the whole beginning of the story, how Batman dies, there's a an epic fight to begin it all and it's really cool and uh throughout this game like batman's dead right but you always whenever you do training courses batman always greets you before you train and it's just kind of like keeping this man alive it's it's amazing it's great the old batman animated series very cool well which one are we talking about like the classic like batman the animated series one that's probably because you spelled it that way too yeah yeah yeah. You, yeah that's dope that's dope see that's some good stuff you get i love those series because even even if you get into brave and the bold which diedrich bader <laughs> diedrich bader was not the best batman but brave and the bold was kind of fun because of all of the different characters there was always different characters being brought in from the dc universe uh into those episodes that weren't that weren't only gotham related stuff so <laughs> yeah i really like those animated series and also any of the animated movies man those are the good stuff yesterday we were talking a lot about Batman and you know some people's favorites is this that whatnot and honestly I don't even know if I my favorite Batmans have always been animated I don't think I've ever really felt like someone has portrayed Batman well in uh, live action Nuns turn on a light. All right, so this is a puzzle, and Nuns knows the puzzle. So right now, guys, we have a bird that's looking to the left. 
and it's pretty simple. All you got to do is just make the bird look to the right. Oh, you grew up with you grew up with Brave and Bold. Awesome, man. That's cool. That's really cool. Oh, almost there. I think we got one more turn, and the wing has to be tucked in a little bit more. And I think do we gotta do something with the claws? There it is. Okay, so we got the claws right. I think we need the wing tucked in just slightly. Not that wing. The small wing. Yep, now he's gonna you know, bring the wing around. Positive, go one more with the big wing, and then do one more of the small wing, and we got it. There we go. And just wait. Once you get it, you have to wait. If you don't, because we were... We, it, nuns jumped into our, uh, our nephew Landon's game, and he was in this spot. And we were watching him do it, and he had it right, but then he pressed a button, and it changed. And the door didn't open. So it's like, you gotta, you have to be committed to the answer before you can actually progress. And we got some owls. It's like, who are these people? This is supposed to be very, like, what the fuck is going on? Did you see how Nuns, Nuns was AFK, he was having a drink, and... He was just ducked down right there, but I, I protected him by throwing my batarangs to stun stun the enemy. The game has an excellent flow of stuff. It is freaking fantastic. Court. Tis the Court of Owls. Yep. The Court of Owls is no myth. They're real. And this is now our evidence. So this is when the game, even though we're still really early on in the game everything kind of hits the fan right here we know that there's you know what was once a myth we know that this myth is real and w w usually when myths become real there's a whole lot there's a whole lot that follows right that usually means uh, something else as well all right nun's gonna hang out up there your vape oh, oh, this is a rabbit hole oh. Is that just mean you need a new one to smoke out of? Yeah. Ah. Uh, like, uh, like a new cartridge of marijuana. Right. So just smoke, go have a hit of the bomb. Yeah. Okay. So just follow the blunt, huh? Was it a full cartridge or some shit? Maybe you can no. get your money back. No. Uh, bummer. All right, we go up above. Okay, what are we watching? Oh, this is, uh, that's the, I, I, I've seen that one. I've seen that one. So, in this is, a, this is a cool movie. Damien is being pretty much manipulated by the court, and then the court finds out. Holy crap. That's, that's Bruce's ward. That's Bruce's ward. What, Bruce is Batman? Bruce Wayne is Batman? And everyone's like, oh, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> it's so good. Let me, all right, so it was 5.40? 5.30? Okay, 5.30. I like him saying, dude. The animated ones, yeah. Oh, he showed up with that fucking suit. That's funny. The animated ones, oh my god, and then Alfred with the uh, freaking shotguns. <laughs> so we obviously have someone incredibly old that is looks to be possibly the leader of the owls, but not really the leader leader, but a high ranking member, I should say. Probably the high, the second highest ranking member, or the highest ranking member. That's not the leader. I don't know. I don't know how it goes. Yeah, that was a good one. So defeat the court of our guards, and you're up front. All right, Nuns is gonna deal with him. I'm gonna get this silent takedown right here. <laughs> Nuns getting that one. I'm gonna go around to this person on the right. Oh, you got them? Okay, I'm gonna try to find one of these. Sweet. 
We just have the last one guy, and he's over on my side looking in the back, but he's going to turn around soon, so approach from the angle I'm going from. Turn. I knew it. There we go. Got him. Go to sleep. If I were a criminal, I would, I would rather get Batman more than that. Oh, right? Alpha will straight up kill you. <laughs> I mean, if he's got to protect you, that guy's got a military background. Uh... Oh, shit. Yeah, exactly. He doesn't have the same situation. I mean, he doesn't want to kill people. He's not a maniac, right? Alpha's a good man. But if he sees he sees it as self-defense, he's a brittle old man. If he's going to put you down, he'll put you down. Then again, all of those, the people at the end of that, those owls, they were undead. They were like freaking zombie owls and shit, right? So it's not like he was really killing people. All right, so maybe do we have to go up above? Yeah. Oh, yes. Hold on one second. I'm the one that's above right above them. Uh, where are you? I'm in the back. All right. All right, I'm going to try to take one at a time. We'll see how this goes. We got one. We got two, because that guy is blind. It's those masks, guys. They have nothing to see. I didn't get my finish on it. All right, I'm going to just wait for him. Are you ready? Ready when you are. Let's do this. Teamwork. Teamwork to make the dream work. Oh, there's more. I was hoping I would be able to take cover real quick. I think we're good. Continue the blood trail. That was really good. We were able to take most of them out stealthily. We almost got all of them, but I, I made a bad I made a bad call. Uh, the way that Jason Todd walks in this tie, even when you're just playing as the character at the Belfry, not in the outfit, he looks dope. He's like, he's, I mean, he's buff. He's pissed. He's, he's, he walks with, with meaning, you know? Uh, it's okay. I mean, he's cool, I guess, but I'm not, uh, I'm not hyped as playing as him. Oh, yes. We, this part's really cool, guys. This is a good one. Nuns is not looking forward to it. You go. <laughs> Why don't we check on this person together? Oh, Nothing hey. could go wrong. How are you, man? What's are you okay? Look at the dead dog. It's stuffed. Kill them. Kill them. Yeah, very dapper. Yeah. Do not belong here. Look at that lady's dress. She looks amazing. The 
punishment for this insult remains the same. Couldn't save him. Couldn't save him. We did not see that coming. Batman would have saw it coming. Batman would have saved him. Then again, uh, I don't think anyone's saving anyone from this. This part is is rough. Nun's already died. He wasn't looking. I walked right in front of the. I didn't. I was wondering, like, oh, that's an easy way to just walk through. It's because the fucking fire didn't hit. Oh my god, thank god it moved. Oh! Oh, that was sick! Oh my god, that was sick! Checkpoint, baby! Gonna do it. Hold my hand. Oh fuck! Jump! That was sick. Did you guys see me do the side uh, flip to avoid the fucking blades coming? They were coming right at me. I went, whoa! And I went in right in between these blades that would have cut me up right there. That was sick. Anti fire cloak too, right? Exactly. Yep. <laughs> Did that look bad or something, Penguin? Is that what you seasoned? Oh, that was cool, though. Could you tell? You could tell with everything? Oh, no? Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I wasn't sure. I don't have the eye for that kind of thing. It's like, I, I, I see I see it moments, like, when Nuns and I are going crazy or, like, with the with the bikes. Like, sometimes you can see a little bit of, like, cha 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 But I don't know. <laughs> hate is going hate, man. That was dope. <laughs> that, that, ah, it was so cool, man. That freaking dodge. I thought I was gonna get got. My God. That was awesome. There must oh. be hundreds of victims here. Oof. Old rags. Yeah, there must be hundreds. I know. She says I'm the smart one, and I say, yeah, this looks like hundreds of victims. Um, hundreds of thousands, maybe. Jesus, lady. <laughs> uh, and really, in a way, Ty, I don't know if you're being serious or not, but it, I feel like it, it makes sense with. The way the game flows, there's also going to be a four-player mode that I'm just thinking maybe they just needed to put it at four, uh, 30 FPS in order to have that four-player mode work. And if that's the case, I would much rather have a few, you know, less frames than not be able to play with more people. I think the more the merrier. What did that say? We had some old rags over here. I want to read what it says. A uh, piece of a jacket, roughly mid-19th century. Mid-19th century. That means that these corpses have been down here for a long time. And if that's just one of them, that's all the way over here. Imagine how old some of the corpses at the very bottom of that pile are. Mid, mid 19th century for someone to still die, but roll all the way down and, and, and die here at basically the edge. To me, that would say that's more of a recent person, much more recent. People have been getting killed and thrown down that hole for a long time. Out of the chair. Say it louder. on That's gross. Nun says he went to a church. What? Yeah. A church. A church in Venice that had a bunch of human bones in it. Skulls and shit. Early 1900s there. Early 20th century. Scanning material. It's just right in the middle. Oh, didn't we already grab the key? Now we just gotta get out of here. Uh, it's up above us. It's always up above. Oh, because that's where we fell? That's where we fell, so... Yeah, I forgot. Or, did you pick up the key? You didn't pick up the key. Oh, I didn't pick up the key. Uh-oh. 
I think we encountered our first bug, guys. Maybe in this moment... Maybe in this moment we can't pick up the key. Oh, Num figured it out. I'm an idiot. We did pick up a key. Alright, let's get out of here. This looks promising. It's so dark down there, I couldn't figure it out. I got the key. Okay. Did it, it I got the key in the it was a cutscene though that I got the key, right? Yeah, okay. Because I don't remember picking up the key. That's why I said I, I don't remember getting the key. I do remember them seeing the key. But I just I wasn't sure for that part. Alright, cool, 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 cool. Just a little it was so dark under there. Of course it would have been hard to find a way out of something like that, so it's good that it was dark. And it was good that it took us a minute to get out. Because for a moment, it's kind of like, well, we're going to die down here, right? We're never getting out of here. <laughs> it's good. I'm playing on my laptop with graphics sets and low graphics. Don't mean shit to me. Dude, Penguin, I used to have to do that all the time. If I want to play any games on, on the good desktop, I have to turn everything down tremendously. Yeah. I'm with you, man. You're cool. That's why you're cool, Penguin. Amongst other reasons, but that's a good one. Uh, Sorry, I got this big ass. Don't Don't mind me. I can't see anything here. Oh, it's up above, that's why. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Uh oh, oh god! We're okay, we're okay. The Arkham games would always present shit like that too. Where you kind of get stuck on a wall, or then you end up having to fall and re-grapple, or maybe you grapple up to an area that should be totally clear, but then, for whatever reason, Batman kicks off the wall, and then you're, like, falling to your death, and it's like, what the hell, Bats? Uh, so we gotta return to the Belfry, but... Is there... Yeah, we gotta return to the Belfry. Alright, we're gonna fast travel. Got some cutscenes. Wait, why does it say to talk to Penguin? You know what? Let's go visit the Penguin before we go to the Belfry. Unless you want to switch into your game right now, nuns, and then that we'd be on hard difficulty if you want. Yeah, it's true. Alright. Off to see the Penguin. The fat Penguin of Gotham. I love that the, um, was it the dead, the dead drop or the dead fall, whatever that was that I just did, uh, going down so fast. I love that it does help pick up speed when I pull up. That was in the other Batman games. You're able to kind of keep your glide going by dipping and pulling, dipping and pulling. Oh shit, he's in full outfit. Guys, we got Penguin dressed. To the to the nines to the nines. Welcome back. Had a good time rubbing elbows with the beautiful people. Not exactly my cup of tea. What do you want, Oswald? Straight to the point. I like that about you. So, how's about a little partnership? I'll pass. I prefer to stay on the legal side of things. As much as possible, anyway. <laughs> you misunderstand me, friend. So, apparently, Ty, Penguin, Penguin said... I'll wait after this. Hold on. You could help. By weeding out your competition. Uh, I'm not in the crime business anymore. So if I came across any unusual gear, I'd be obliged to turn it over. Upstanding citizen that I am. Fine, but I'm doing this for the people of God. Yes, I'm sorry. Not for you. Oh, that's the spirit. Oh. Yep. Uh, okay, so we're working with Penguin because I think at this time Penguin is more like a the like the governor or mayor Penguin, and he mentioned when we first uh, contacted him, he said he's a reformed citizen.